Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So I just logged in this morning and I see that there's a June 13th update preview and there's a lot of things that looks like they're coming on June 13th. First, of course, the collaboration banners are coming. We are getting Estelle and Joshua. So collaboration with Trails in the Sky crossover. That has now been confirmed. So it does look like we're losing that Shafaniel Angelina Cherry banner that occurred on the Chinese server. Um, instead, we're just jumping right into the collab banner. So unfortunately, it seems like we're missing out on one of the princess banners, which actually sucks for me because I actually need to get Shafaniel. <laughs> that is one of the characters that I'm missing. So nothing I can do about that. Hopefully in the future, that banner will show up and I can pick up Shafaniel in a focus banner then. In any case though, this is good news, Estelle and Joshua. Uh, in addition to that, we will be getting the SR character, Chloe. So I'll talk about that afterwards because it doesn't seem like it sh that information is on this announcement. So let's continue. What else is in this announcement? Well, there's going to be a new challenge called Twisted Fate, okay? And this challenge is, is a new Secret Realm challenge. And yeah, so that's always good. New, I guess, event. In addition to that, there is now the new Secret Realm store, okay? And in this Secret Realm store, you will exchange your challenge points, which clearly comes from that Twisted Fate challenge, exchange them, and you'll get challenge points and fashion points for exclusive hero equipment and special limited time skins. So for example, it says right here, right? There's a special skin for Elwyn. In terms of exclusive equipment, which have initially come out, there is Elwyn's weapon, Lana's armor, uh, Die Hard's helmet, Imelda's helmet, and Matthew's accessory. And these are all, from what I know, quite good items. For example, Elwyn's weapon uh, has the clocks function, so 30% chance to reduce cooldown by 5. Lena's armor will debuff the enemy before battle. So that's a great way to make sure that you have, if you equip uh, Astaroth on Lena, Astaroth's uh, effect will always trigger, which is if the enemy is debuffed, you can apply, your character will get plus 15% intelligence. Uh, Die Hard's helmet, from what I recall, if you kill off an enemy, it will stun an enemy within two or three blocks of him. So that's a, that's really a required helmet to use Die Hard. And Imelda's helmet, from what I recall, it prevents uh, her talent from applying that debuff where the enemies take damage, or where the allies take damage. So it removes that, what, 10% hit point loss that Imelda's Iron Fist applies. And finally, Matthew gets an accessory. I can't recall what it is. My apologies. Uh, just do not recall what Matthew's accessory does. But it's definitely not as good as Lana, Die Hearts, or Imelda's item. I would pers I'm personally going to aim for Lana's armor. While I do want Die Hearts helmet and Imelda's helmet, they're not as critical for me personally. So. Depends on what you plan to do, but all of the pretty much all of these items are very, very good. All right, let's move on. So other than that, Landius and Rachel now get their Gates of Fate. So finally, um, they weren't really, you know, they were good characters, but without their Gate of Fate, you couldn't unlock their final few bonds and whatnot. So now that they've come, they'll become much better, you know? And people can now start grinding up Landius for their PvP tank. In addition, Heart Bonds. Very critical. Lanford, Le Lanford, Listel, Landius, Rachel. Very, very important for Listel, Landius, and Rachel, of course, because they they are clearly, clearly top-tier PvP characters. And without the Heart Bonds right now, they weren't exactly top-tier. So now that they've gotten their heart bonds, all three of these characters will become much deadlier. You know, Listelle will do more damage with her blood dance. Landius will actually have real survivability. You know, Rachel will benefit from the additional hit points, but she shouldn't really use need it. 
It's really Listel and Landius will especially benefit from the new heart bond. Older heroes, SR ones, will also get the heart bond now. Narm, Igbert, and Varna. Varna is good because, again, she is very PvP focused, so the hit points will help. The other two, again, for PvE content, you might use them, but I don't think they really need the additional hit points or defense for magic defense. Okay, let's continue. Love Confessions! Available for the following heroes. SSR Liana, SSR Tieris, SR Chris. So if you get their heart bond to level 10, they now have Love Confessions. And finally, it looks like there's some new avatar frames, right? These ones I don't think particularly matter. Uh, you know, Echo of Light event, Trails in Time, you know. FC event, I'm not quite sure what that is. Is that the one where if you pay $270 or whatever, you'll get that uh, banner, that uh, avatar frame? Most likely, right? There's some new official events too. Dream Whisper, official concert event. That sounds interesting. Streamer, official special event. Dragon Slayer series, an achievement. Spirit Temple, achievement. And Cryptic Killer, achievement. So just a lot of new avatar frames for you to get to make your avatar look unique. Skin support, all classes of their corresponding heroes. Well, that's to be expected. And then new achievements added to the Secret Realm, Main Story, and Time Rift. Okay. And finally, in the gallery, crossover heroes have been added to the hero gallery. Okay. So lots of new things coming. And I'm actually going to quickly jump to the long games website for a few more additional details. So let's just do that now. All right, here we go. So once again, on this website, it says Langrisser Trails in the Sky crossover. If you click on it, there's a bit more details. Basically, phase one of the crossover sees Joshua, Estelle, and Close become heroes of Langrisser. So always good news. Next, Trails in the Sky Heroes, Limited Time Summon. If we click on this one, well, it's the same information here, but in addition, it says that during the event period, uh, sorry, no. During the event period, you can challenge, sorry, you can complete challenges in the Limited Time Secret Realm Dungeon Trails in the Sky FC to summon Close Rins. So, we all, as long as you do the event, you are guaranteed to get the SR character, Close a Rinse. And of course, the other two, um, Estelle Bright and Joshua Bright, will have to be summoned. They do not, it's important to note that they do not uh, appear in the general summoning group. So you can only get these two characters from this summon. So. In a way, it's a cash grab because <laughs> you have to summon to get these heroes or else you're never going to get them. But uh, you know, that's to be expected for crossover heroes, I think. There's another information panel about the new Twisted Fate challenge. And it's quite interesting, you see. The Secret Realm's new Twisted Fate challenge has arrived with extreme challenges set to push your tactical prowess to the max. The special challenge won't consume any items or stamina, nor are there any daily limits. As soon as it opens, all commanders are free to challenge it at will. So, farm all you want, but the challenge is going to be very tough, is what this says. New challenges in the Secret Realm, and if you complete the challenges, you get challenge points. Once you earn enough challenge points, you can exchange them for rewards in the new Secret Realm store. In the Secret Realm store, what I had already covered. A lot of, a lot of new... Um, Exclusive weapons and armors and I guess a few exclusive skins and whatnot. So, very interesting, very good news, I guess. For people who wanted to play Legrisser more, you know, they can now play as much as they want if they have a strong enough party. And then finally, White Princess Joshua steps on the stage. So, <laughs> she has a, or he has a female skin. So there we go. And of course, Joshua is part of the Princess Alliance faction. Trap. So the trap for this game has arrived. All right, so there we go. 
that is the information about the upcoming update on June 13th. I'll do more information about these three heroes once uh, the update has actually arrived. But long story short, from what I know, all three are primarily focused, or sorry, these two, uh, the two new heroes, the new, two new SSRs, are primarily focused for PvP. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Close A Rinse does have some utility for PvE content. Uh, for example, I think she's quite useful for, let's say, the Ice Dragon, if you haven't cleared the Ice Dragon yet. But, yeah. So that's pretty much all the information that I have to give at this time. Oh, I should actually do one last thing in-game, okay? So I'm just going to go back into the game, and I'm actually going to log in now. So let's just sign in and get onto my server, Rocky Valley. So with the new events, they also put in a new announcement in the info section in the game. So it says the major update, so a third announcement about the update, if you will, right? And if you scroll down to the bottom, it says that today's rewards are gold, experience potions, and equipment enhancement materials. Make sure to log in within three days to claim them. In addition, five Trinity vouchers will be waiting for you in-game after the June 13th update maintenance. So apparently it seems like Every day, if you log in, you'll get a few special bonuses for logging in between June 10th and June 16th. And you can also claim this reward, which apparently is bugged right now. I just clicked it and I cannot claim the item. So just so you're aware, you know, can't claim it right now, but it seems like they'll probably fix it and you'll be able to claim this item later. All right, so that's everything I wanted to say about the, up, about the current event and what is coming up. So... Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this inf information useful. And on that note, Nitro out.